The patients that we take care of are able to go home usually within four to seven days. The patient should be walking four times a day when discharged for at least 10 minutes a time and to increase it as tolerated. Once the patient is released from the hospital, they are allowed to go out on short car rides. You know, we would like them to do things that they normally would do prior to their surgery. The patient should shower daily. And as far as showering restrictions go, they are not to use scalding hot water because of a low blood count. It can make them lightheaded. Also, they shouldn't direct the water right at their chest, their incision lines, because it'll hurt. And they are to soap up, whether a sponge or a washcloth, pat the soap on, rinse the soap off. And when they're out, pat, not rub the incision line. Clean clothing on every morning after they shower, and they suggest lightweight cotton t-shirt over the actual incision line just because it's clean. For clothing restrictions for the women, we suggest that they place a pad over the incision line underneath the bra, and for men to wear a clean white t-shirt every day after shower. There are no restrictions to visitors in the home. Um, I think that is gonna be entirely up to the patient and how they feel. We do recommend that no sick family members or friends come until they are completely healed. The patient is able to go back to work depending on what type of occupation he or she has. Usually in three months, but that's usually on a part-time basis and then they work back into full-time. Following our heart surgery, a uh, heart healthy diet is recommended. That's a low fat, low cholesterol, no added salt diet. Our dietitian will speak to every patient before they leave the hospital. The patient should manage pain when they're discharged from the hospital by a variety of methods. They are given a prescription for narcotics, which they can fill and use at their discretion. They are also encouraged to use over-the-counter medications and relaxation methods. Before the patient leaves the hospital, we have taught them how to use their incentive spirometer and to do their coughing and deep breathing. We encourage that to continue at home. It keeps the lungs healthy and keeps them from developing pneumonia. I suggest every commercial Take the spirometer, give it five tries, and do it the next commercial. Patient cares for their incision after the discharge by daily showering and padding, no scrubbing, no lotions, potions, or powders applied. The patient should be taking the medications only they're discharged on. They will have a detailed list of the medications when the last dose was given and when the next dose is due. The patient should avoid lifting objects that weigh 10 pounds or more, pushing, pulling, overextension of arms, reaching up over their head. It is all right for them, like when they shower, to wash hair and to get dressed, putting shirts on over their head, but they are not to reach up and extend their arms to reach and get something off like a top shelf. Cardiac rehabilitation starts in the hospital. Um, it's a three phase program with our um, outpatient. First phase is in the hospital. Second phase usually starts two to three weeks after they're out of the hospital and that's um, monitoring their heart, increasing their activity. And phase three is more of a maintenance for them. When the patient leaves the hospital, if they leave early enough, we encourage them to start making their appointments that day. The first person they're gonna see is the cardiac surgeon. So um, they see him in about a week, so they wanna make that appointment first. After they make that, they can make the appointment with the cardiologist who they'll see in about two to three weeks.